Hello everyone, my name is Arkbean, and in today's episode we are going to be using some of our new levels from the dragon fight to enchant a couple of tools, and then afterwards we are going to be doing some ancient debris mining in the nether. So without any explanation, let's start enchanting. So first we're going to focus on the pickaxe. Now, generally the best method I find is to make actually two diamond pickaxes. Because we're going for max level enchantments here. We don't want anything like efficiency 4. We'd rather have efficiency 5. And efficiency 5 coming from the table is fairly rare. So I'll explain a little bit more about that later. So let's grab our lapis here. And a couple books in case you need to roll trades. And throw in our first pickaxe. So our first one is unbreaking 3. Now unbreaking 3 is excellent. However... Unbreaking almost never comes in a not unbreaking three form when you get this bottom level trade. So really what we're going to be after is efficiency four because efficiency almost never comes as efficiency five. So we want to make sure that we have an efficiency four so that way the next one will have efficiency four and we can put them together. Because in case you didn't know the way enchanting works, you have to put a four and a four together to make a five. All right. So we're going to have to re-roll these trades here. Put a book in. And a lapis. Grab this first enchantment. Put the pick back in there. And there is our efficiency 4. So we'll go ahead and throw a few lapis in there. And usually this comes with more enchantments. So if we cross our fingers. Nope, not this time. Alright. And we're going to put this one in there. Looking for efficiency 4 again. Which is what we have. Because we want to combination of those two and the odds of us getting um, some other achievements are fairly high although it's not a guarantee all right looks like we got fairly unlucky this time well we have been visited all right guess we'll just work around them so this is kind of unfortunate here so in this instance you will actually have to make another pickaxe so if we come over here Grab another one of these. And now, since we already have enough, um, essentially, enchantments for efficiency 5, what we'll be after is actually unbreaking 3. Because we do already have Silk Touch on this Diamond Pickaxe in here. So if we don't get, if we don't get it on that, then um, we can always just use our Silk Touch from there. Unbreaking 3 is the very first option. Let's grab that. All right. So now, we can come over here to our anvil and combine these. It costs five additional experience points. Oops, what's happening? Sorry about that. My uh, school alarm was going off, but we're not doing school today. It's spring break. All right. So now that we've got our uh, two efficiency fours, we can combine them to make one efficiency five pickaxe like so. Then we can combine that with our Unbreaking 3 pickaxe. And then we can come over here, grab our Silk Touch pickaxe. And let's see. Sometimes if you reverse it, it actually costs less. This time it actually costs more. So we're going to put it in here. 12 is the lower cost. And we now have an Efficiency 4, or 5, excuse me. Unbreaking 3 Silk Touch pickaxe. Now there is one enchantment remaining. However, we can get to that one later. So this is essentially a max pickaxe besides the one missing. So the other tool we're going to be doing is the diamond axe. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to get in my chest. Thank you. So we already have one diamond axe from the dragon fight, which we can use. And we need to craft another one. There we go. So, I know, I know that the axe can be used as a weapon. It's actually my preferred weapon over the sword when it comes to just regular uh, combat. However, it is also a tool that we're going to be using for a lot of building. And me personally, I'm a builder over a fighter. So we're going to be doing a similar process to the pickaxe where we're going to be hunting after efficiency 4. However, um, if you're more of a fighter and you don't do as much building, then maybe you'd be after Smite 5 or Sharpness 5 as those boost your damage. So, 
Let's throw the first pickaxe in there. And what do we get? Fortune 2 is not at all what we're looking for. So we can throw a book in there. And the lapis. And grab that. And try again. Efficiency 3. Now, this actually is okay. The reason we're going to take Efficiency 3 is because I actually found an Efficiency 3 book right here. So we'll be able to put those together and get one Efficiency 4 book. Otherwise, definitely keep rolling until you have uh, Efficiency 3, or Efficiency 4 coming up in here. So we'll grab this. And this one came with Fortune 2 and Unbreaking 3, which is it's fine by me. Let's see what our next enchantment would be. Efficiency 4. Very good. However, as you can see here, by this number right here, this this number is the required levels you need to have in order to do the enchantment. And then the number over here is the actual cost. However, since the required levels to have is 30 and I only have 29, we are going to have to go kill some monsters or something of the sort. Alrighty, back at the enchantment setup, you can see my levels down at the bottom of the screen has increased to 30. Luckily, I only had to kill a few zombies. So I will throw this in there and grab our efficiency 4. And there we have that. Now let's grab our, um, where did it go? Efficiency 3 book here. Come to our anvil, put our efficiency 3 pickaxe, or uh, not pickaxe, axe, and our book in there. And now you'll see that the Efficiency 3 plus Efficiency 3 has changed to Efficiency 4, Fortune 2, Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 3. Sharpness 3 is fine. Um, I personally prefer Smite, but Sharpness is also acceptable. So we'll go ahead and grab this. And then we can put our Efficiency 4 uh, axe in here. And now you'll see it's an Efficiency 5, Fortune 2, Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 3 axe which is what we're after. So we'll grab this. And as far as the axe goes, um, Silk Touch or Fortune it doesn't make a lot of difference to me. Um, so since this one came with Fortune, we'll just leave it with Fortune and not worry about it. However, as I said before, there is one enchantment we are missing, and that is the infamous Mending Enchantment. So the Mending Enchantment allows us to repair our tool's durability bar, um, when we collect XP and when we're holding that weapon. So that's what we have to go to the project box for. In the project bar, you see I have tons of vegetables, which are highly important. And the reason is they are important for villager trading. So we are going to bounce over to the village in the desert over there. I'll craft up a lectern and we'll roll some trades until we get the mending book. Alrighty guys, back at the village, I have taken this villager's job, he had a composter here, and he is no longer a farmer. Tax cuts. Anyways, so we will have to make him a librarian for now, and we'll place this down, see what his trades are. Nothing good. Go ahead and remove that. And try again. This time, I'm breaking two. It's actually fairly a decent uh, trade had trades like that in the past however it's not what we're after today mending there we go that's some fat luck right there it is kind of expensive however the odds of us getting another mending book um trade are fairly slim however we do need to hurry because on the occasion that he runs really far away and loses his job even if he does manage to come back he won't have the same trades which is what we brought all the veg for so we're going to run over here to these farmers this guy requires potatoes, and and we're going to trade up. Let's see, you want... No, I don't have enough potatoes anymore. You want wheat? No, sir. Definitely wheat is the worst of the um, four crops to trade to a villager, as it is simply the most useful outside of villager trading, with animal breeding and hay bales and such. This guy wants carrots. Oh, did we not bring the rest of our carrots? It appears as though we did not bring the rest of our carrots. I must have... Oh, that's right. I was clearing space in my inventory. I forgot to go back to the chest to pick them up. Anyways, that's okay. Because we have paper. So we can go ahead 
and I guess there's a more efficient way to do that. Start with these stacks of paper, and we'll trade to our luck of the sea vendor. There we go. Do it again. Where is he at? There he is. Got some other trades. Riptide, very good. But we are here for paper. Two more emeralds and we'll be there. What do you want? Sticks? Or flint? Pass. And you don't have anything where you're offering emeralds. So I guess it's going to have to be sticks then. Assuming we have enough. Well, we have enough for one emerald. Alrighty, and here we are, guys. We got those sticks to the Fletcher. So we have our final um, emeralds. So we can go ahead and put our emeralds in the slot, as well as a book, and grab our first mending book. Now, we will need two of these, as we do have our axe and pickaxe, which want, uh, which I want mending on. Um, however, it's going to take a bit more grinding, as I did not have enough materials um, to get enough emeralds for two. So I'll catch you guys as soon as I've got the second one. And we're back. As you can see down in my hotbar, I have two enchanted books. No, I'm not scamming. They are both mending. So we can go ahead and come to our anvil and put mending on the axe and mending on the pickaxe. Now, one click or one quick clarification on why we didn't wait to uh, enchant these until after we put netherite on them. Well, it's because of what we did earlier. We took two, or actually in the pickaxes case, we took four pickaxes and put them together to make one. Now, if we had put netherite on one of them in the first place, that would mean all of them have to be netherite when we combine them. You can't put a netherite pickaxe plus a diamond pickaxe and expect them to go together. So that's the reason why we do it in the diamond form. And now that they are basically maxed, the, the, silk, or the uh, pickaxe is maxed, is the highest level enchantments you can get. And the axe... Um, sharpness could be higher as well as fortune, although fortune doesn't matter. Sharpness does, however, but we can get to that another time and enchant that with books later. So now we are ready to move on to the second stage, which is netherite, or uh, ancient debris mining. However, we are going to leave these behind, as they are quite expensive now. But since ancient debris requires a diamond pickaxe to mine, we still have to craft another one. This one will be unenchanted, as there is no benefit to enchanting it. And we'll take it into the mines with us. What am I doing? There we go. Alright, the other materials you're going to need is a good set of armor. I'd say the bottom three are okay, however the helmet is not looking so hot. And actually one more thing, uh, you're going to want to switch out your boots for gold, as there will probably be piglins, and we don't want them attacking you for absolutely no reason. Luckily I have some blast protection for that I got from a ruined portal, I believe. The other materials you're going to need is first to clear your inventory, so we'll just get rid of some of this random garbage in here. Potatoes, I don't need those. Probably take the crafting table though. Is you will need wool. Now, I usually try to do mine in batches of 63 since that makes it even 21 beds. However, if you want to spend more time down there uh, mining, go ahead. And obviously, a good supply of food as you are going to be blowing up the beds, which is quite dangerous. So, between basically between each um, blast, you're going to want to. Um, sorry, there we go. Uh, we're, you're going to want to eat up. That way you don't end up killing yourself on accident. So, there we go. We have made the maximum number of beds. And we can put this one plank in the correct chest. And we'll call that good. If you have fire resistance potions, that could also be good. I actually will grab my arrows for my bow, which I already have. And that's literally everything you need we have some building blocks as always just typical stuff like that all right so the first thing you're going to want to do is take care of the bad guys like that there we go 
and the lower in the world you can get the better as it's just less digging so let's down here all right it might not even be worth going down there so instead we'll just start digging right here all right so we are down here at the targeted location Y level 14 is where I like to mine for netherite. I feel like I have better luck there. Um, netherite can actually spawn any Y level in the nether, although most frequently I believe it's below Y19. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm um, pretty sure that's it. So now I know there's a pocket of lava uh, a couple blocks that way and one up higher over there. So in order to be safe, we're going to dig away from that pocket of lava hopefully. And come down here a few more blocks. And this is how you bed mine. You just have to make sure your feet are on Y14, which they are. Place a bed as far back there as you can get it. You sneak. Oops. You sneak and dig it. <laughs> Try again. Don't sneak. Just blow it up. And you look around. See if you got anything good. Climb up here to the ceiling. And delete the lava. And that's essentially all there is to it. We didn't get lucky this time around. Doesn't seem to be any ancient debris anywhere. And then the way you continue is you just get your coordinates on. Build yourself a little staircase up to Y14. Punch a hole in the wall. Hopefully don't get burned alive. Dang it. We can just scooch it over one block. Nope, we cannot. Alright, so in the instance where a uh, vein of lava is bugging you, you can always switch directions. However, I believe we can deal with this one. Yeah, it seems to be only one block. There we go. Alright, let me come back to our hole. Make it as deep as you can. Grab the bed. And now since we have this wall here to aid us, we can sort of stand behind here to take less damage. Punch out any fire. Once again, cancel the lava and take a look around. I won't show you guys every bed as there is quite a few beds, although I will make sure to show you every time I find some ancient debris. There's the good stuff. That's what we're after. Ancient debris. Alright, so we found at least one piece. Hopefully there's more hiding in the wall. Before this uh, explosion, I actually encountered quite a bit of lava. It was kind of annoying to get around. However, oops, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It is all paid off. Well, we're getting there. It'd be better if we found a few pieces. Oh, yep, there's a second. And just a warning, you do need a diamond pickaxe to mine this stuff. So don't come in here with your uh, iron pickaxe and get all mad at me um, when you destroy the block and you don't get any drops. Generally, it's a good idea to destroy the area around, as there can occasionally be another one hiding. But if there's none in about that much of an area, oops, that means there's none. Alright, we got two pieces down. We'll keep mining. Ooh. Ah. Alrighty. We've got our six netherite scrap. Or, uh, yeah. Netherite scrap that were smelted out of the ancient debris. So all we have to do is come over to a crafting table. Put four of them. And four gold. And we have a netherite ingot. Which is a very valuable item. Meaning that these two netherite scrap are also extremely valuable, so they go in the valuables chest. Now what we need is a smithing table, which we have the wood for. We just need a couple iron here. Come over here to the crafting table, grab a couple planks. Two iron across the top, and a smithing table appears. So since we have so many... Uh, pickaxes in or uh, not pickaxes crafting tables in here as it is we'll go ahead and remove that one and throw our smithing table down there then we take the uh, item we want to 
put netherite on, which in our case is the uh, pickaxe. Put the pickaxe there, netherite ingot there, and there you have it. We have ourselves our first netherite tool, our silk touch pickaxe. And unfortunately, that is all we have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions about it, uh, go ahead and, and ask that down in the comments. I will respond to all of your comments. And I hope you enjoyed today's video, and thanks for watching. See ya.